I work in the Detention Rights Advocacy Program and we work with people seeking asylum who are in onshore detention, so any place of immigration detention across Australia, including Christmas Island. And we also work with people who are in Nauru and on Manus Island. Um, and that includes people who are either in the regional processing centres, so the detention camps, or outside in the community and have, the, have their um, refugee status processed already. We're the only service um, that isn't paid by the Australian government that works directly with people in those places. All of our advocacy is driven by the person themselves. So our client makes all of the decisions about how they want us to go forward and how they want to go forward in pressing against that hostile system. For example, if somebody requires medical treatment, we might obtain their medical records for them, have those records reviewed by a specialist, um, and then we'll write to IHMS, to ABF, um, and basically press against that system wherever we can to try to get the treatment for them. Part of our role is to keep people informed as much as possible about changes that affect them um, and things that they can do to get through the situation that they're in. We also um, do systemic advocacy and that might involve media work, it might involve submissions to Senate inquiries. I think that one of the most critical aspects of our work is the suicide intervention work that we do. What we do there is, you know, we have a team of three, we're all trained in suicide intervention and so we talk to people about that, we assess the level of risk um, and we try to inject hope. You know, even, even where it's necessary, we'll call services on the island to try to get them to race to a person to keep them safe, you know, whereas they would, may not have otherwise known that this person was at risk. I think that work is so critical because it literally keeps people alive. And without that, I am really afraid that there would be more deaths in offshore detention. I think when you've been in detention or offshore so, so long, everything looks black. And so we take every opportunity that we can to kind of just let a little chink of light through so that people can see that one day they might be free, you know? And I think that really helps to keep people going.